my dear brother and sister fraternal greetings to you from the carmelite fathers and warm welcome to carmel light reflection on the day's readings it's the 25th of june thursday of the 12th week in ordinary time today we remember saint eurosia a martyr born in the year 864 in france and died in 880 in spain it's also the day of the sea farers in a special way let's remember them in our prayers the holy gospel according to matthew let's listen to the gospel reading taken from gospel according to matthew chapter 7 verses 21 to 29 a reading from the holy gospel according to matthew jesus said to his disciples not everyone who says to me lord lord who enter the kingdom of heaven but only the one who does the will of my father in heaven many will say to me on that day lord lord do we not prophesy in your name do we not drive out demons in your name do we not do mighty deeds in your name then i will declare to them solemnly i never knew you depart from me you evil doers Everyone who listens to these words of mine and acts on them will be like a wise man who built his house on rock. The rain fell, the floods came, and the winds blew and buffeted the house, but it did not collapse. It had been set solidly on rock. And everyone who listens to these words of mine but does not act on them will be like a fool who built his house on sand. The rain fell the floods came and the winds blew and buffeted the house and it collapsed and was completely ruined When Jesus finished these words the crowds were astonished at his teaching for he taught them as one having authority and not as their scribes The gospel of the Lord Praise to you Lord Jesus Christ Brothers and sisters without a doubt the most important goal in our life is to know God we were made for the eternal life and all of us will face the judgment seat of Christ so that each one may receive good or evil according to what he has done in the body Second Corinthians chapter five verse ten. We could go through our lives deciding for ourselves what is good and evil, and perhaps be acclaimed as solid citizens. But unless we seek God's will, Jesus ultimately will say to us, "I never knew you." It is for this reason that the church has consistently pointed out the dangers of secular humanism or any other ism which promises some kind of fulfillment apart from Jesus. Often these good sounding philosophies stand in subtle opposition to the gospel. How then can we be assured that we are doing the will of the Father and not just saying Lord Lord On another occasion Jesus explained what was truly necessary This is the work of God that you believe in him whom he has sent John chapter 6 verse 29 This is what Matthew leaves us with 
at the conclusion of the sermon on the mount jesus is everything our belief in him can transform our lives and bring us to know the father our daily experience of him in prayer will lift us out of the ordinary and into the blessedness of walking in the spirit jesus wants us to know him he wants to have a relationship of intimate trust and love with him all he asks is that we cry out humbly lord i believe help my unbelief as we proclaim our faith in jesus and ask him to reveal himself to us more fully we will experience the power of his love and presence in a tangible way this is the crux of christianity this is the crux of christianity brothers and sisters we pray psalm 79 it reflects the feelings of the exiles it speaks of jerusalem being in ruins and all neighboring nations criticizing and deriding the nation of israel because of its sorry state the psalm ends in a prayer of trust and confidence that god will deliver the people and pardon their sins because god is faithful to the promises which god has made to the chosen people of old trusting in the promises of god let's pray this psalm our response for the glory of your name o lord deliver us o god the nations have come into your inheritance they have defiled your holy temple they have laid jerusalem in ruins they have given the corpses of your servants as food to the birds of heaven the flesh of your faithful ones to the beasts of the earth for the glory of your name o lord deliver us they have poured out their blood like water round about jerusalem and there is no one to bury them we have become the reproach of our neighbors the scorn and derision of those around us o lord how long will you be angry forever will your jealousy burn like fire for the glory of your name o lord deliver us remember not against us the iniquities of the past may your compassion quickly come to us for we are brought very low for the glory of your name o lord deliver us help us o god our savior because of the glory of your name deliver us and pardon our sins for your name's sake for the glory of your name o lord deliver us my dear friends today being thursday a day dedicated to honor infant jesus let's pray the novena prayer to infant jesus as we pray let's remember all those who are suffering from coronavirus those who are quarantined those who are stranded in other places other than their native place those who have lost their job those who have to undergo operation today those who are lonely and sick those who are on the death bed especially those who are working in the sea for peace between india and china all those couples who are praying for the gift of a child the expectant mothers children 
the youth and all married couples in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen to be with the children of men is my happiness says the lord jesus lived among the people as a friend and helped them in their needs he healed everyone who had faith in him and came to be known as a spiritual physician here represented as a child he stretches out his helping hand to all those who have recourse to him the more you honor me the more will i bless you says the infant jesus of prague let us pray for our intentions o holy infant jesus through your life on earth you revealed to us by many marvels your hidden power so now bless us abundantly with your uplifted hand and graciously deign to hear the petitions of those who call upon you in faith and trust amen our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil amen hail mary full of grace the lord is with you blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen and the word became flesh and dwelt among us and the word became flesh and dwelt among us and the word became flesh and dwelt among us and the word became flesh and dwelt among us and the word became flesh and dwelt among us and the word became flesh and dwelt among us and the word became flesh and dwelt among us and the word became flesh and dwelt among us and the word became flesh and dwelt among us and the word became flesh and dwelt among us and the word became flesh and dwelt among us and the word became flesh and dwelt among us glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen o infant jesus bless us and hear our prayers glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen o infant jesus bless us and hear our prayers glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen o infant jesus bless us and hear our prayers o miraculous infant jesus look upon us as we turn to you imploring your assistance in our needs and anxieties let your compassionate heart be moved to pity by our supplications and grant us the favor which we ardently implore you free us from all affliction and despair all trials and misfortunes give us your support and consolation good health and happiness so that we may praise you and the father and the holy spirit now and forever amen thanksgiving prayer o most generous infant jesus we on our knees before you have come to express our deep thankfulness to you for all the favors we have received at your hands we believe jesus that together with the father and the holy spirit you are our creator and savior henceforth we place all our trust in you to this miraculous statue may your devotion be spread throughout the world and may all people pay homage to your holy childhood and gain thereby 
untold divine blessings and favors. All praise and honor be to the infant Jesus. Amen. Let's pray for God's blessing. May the Lord Jesus be with you to defend you. May he be with you to sustain you. May he go before you to show you the way. May he follow you to guard you. From above, may he bless you with the Father and the Holy Spirit who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Brothers and sisters, we remember in a special way all those who are celebrating their birthday today. As we wish you a happy birthday, we pray for your intentions. Specially, Crawford Wilson D'Souza from Mumbai, presently in Kuwait, Patsy Fernandez from Kuwait, Princeton Fernandez from Kinnigori. Happy birthday. God bless you. Wish you all a blessed day. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.